this weekend, but mostly good, mostly good. Hey fam, how you doing? Happy Sunday. Welcome to the school. person because I haven't had to deal with well no nah, the yeah I take that back the death but they are far and in between I'll put it that way in my family and that's you know the big family cousins and shit like that you know I did lose both of my dads grandmother, grandfather, you know. Thank you all for your condolences and text messages and everyone that wanted to check on me. It's so funny though. It's like I said in my other video, Charlie and I, we maintained a relationship. And so when I was going through in my other relationship, I'm crying at Charlie about it. Shit. Charlie, that, that nigga, you know. And, uh, you know, and I remember there were times he didn't want me to, you know, tell him certain things. And he said, because it just angered him. And I remember, uh, you know, he had gotten him a chick. <laughs> and at that particular time, he was in the house, you know. And I said, well, I said, that's impressive. I said, you know, you with your house and everything and yada, yada. And then, uh, he was telling me that she was, he, he caught her going through his phone. <laughs> and just like he got mad with what I was dealing with, I got mad at that. I was like, what? <laughs> and they knew in a relationship, ghetto ass, going through his phone. I said, oh, hell no. And then Charlie said, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good on that. <laughs> so, you know. No one would ever be able to say I did anything. I don't think my video of Charlie and I talking is still on my page. I just really hate I got rid of my stuff. You know, because it's my evolution. It's my life and but never again. I don't know, meet nobody to tell me shit. Nobody. I can't meet a man and, that tells me shit. You understand? Tell me how to do shit. I want, if I don't know how to do it now, I want to know. Leave me the fuck alone. You know? I can't even talk about my amazing night last night, though. I'll talk about it some other time. But it was amazing. I knew when my daughter called at four in the morning, Mama. I said, what is it? jumped up, you know, started getting my shit on there. I just laid back down, waited till a couple more hours till the buffet opened. I was trying to stuff my, but that wasn't happening, but nonetheless, I got a chance to eat. I think my son, I think they're everybody sleeping. Busy first thing in the morning because I'm sure. 
sure they'll probably they better have a service Saturday. And uh, so that means you gotta move fast. I told my kids when I passed, have me in the ground in two days. And y'all can have a service whenever you want to. Yes, ma'am. Break the mold when it comes down to funerals. Don't want it to be three or four, five, six hours, none of that. Two hours, three hours, four hours, five, none of that. So one hour. First, I said 45 minutes. So, Ted, after a read up, what's her name? Yeah, her funeral was all day. They have a service for me. My son walked up to the podium and said, this would make my mother's heart glad to see so many people came out to support her in her transition. And what I have to say is very short. My mother, she lived and then she died. Thank you all for coming. We got buffet in the back. Everyone is welcome. Not to turn the music up loud. That's it. Everybody go on with your lives. Because I taught my children, you love doing life. Give me my flowers while I can see them. Give me my flowers while I could smell them. Speak kind words to me while I could hear them. But all that else don't matter. Give it to me now.